I go back to 18 to start over. With, new, with this information, I fuck them up bad, bro. Give me a back to the future right quick. 100%. three things that it takes in order to make like someone well balanced in business mm -hmm. okay so there's three things there's a, a hustler mm -hmm. an entrepreneur and a businessman right and a hustler right I, I, the thing about hustling if you're one of too many of these things so if you're a hustler you're thinking short term mm -hmm. you're going out to get that money you're making that quick buck you don't care who you burn it doesn't matter short term right right then you have the entrepreneur mm -hmm. who's more of like a visionary right, right. so they're perfect they have the plan they're like the artist they see the vision they see the the, the downward uh the downward vision yeah and then you have a businessman right uh -huh. which a lot of let's say corporate america things like that they're looking at the numbers they don't care we got to make the numbers they don't see they don't always see the the vision and they right. don't always see the hustle they just say what's the number that's all i care about now if you're too many of any one of these three things right, right too much of a hustle, you're short term. If you're an entrepreneur, you might get lost in the art of it, never make any money. And if you're a businessman, you might not see the vision or see the hustle. Right. Out of those three categories, which one do you believe you are today? Well, Hustler, I'm, an entrepreneur, or a businessman? Or all three? And where do you think you are with any of no, those? I've gone through. Because you're doing all of them, by the way. I've, I've gone through you the hustled. training camp. Like, you look, in the beginning, it's, it's hustler because it's, it's survival. Mm -hmm. You know, in the short term, Goal is a great enough accomplishment. Yeah. You know, so you hustling and you do what you gotta do. And then as you get to a stage of you perceiving yourself as an entrepreneur, people say it and they're not necessarily entrepreneurs at that point. I think entrepreneurs have already they've researched the direction they're going in. So they have information. They they entrepreneur is gonna And that's a loose not, term today. That's a yeah. little, especially with the, the younger generation right but everyone's an entrepreneur well my interpretation of yeah. it is someone who's who, who has information or quiet information mm -hmm. about how it actually works they may not necessarily have all the resources to execute it mm -hmm. but is working in that direction for it to be a success you know and that's in the courses you know what do you mean you get that out the book it's Not textbook book. business that goes on traditionally that oh what you should expect in business mm -hmm. right and that like it's, it's easier to conduct that like if you got if a person is extremely successful they'll they'll have uh, a team yeah right so the lawyers there there's other people there that that would catch things that would be right now nah, you got to change this mm -hmm. you know because lawyers think a little different they think about Everything that can go wrong. Everything can go wrong rather than what can go right. Well, no, yes. So you go in, I, you got to balance that. Like you can't have, like I have general counsel, but yeah. I didn't I didn't have that in the very beginning. But you kind of got to direct them sometimes too, right? Yeah, because if not, they'll kill a company within seconds and a deal. They'll kill an the idea before it even take off because they they'll tell you a reason not to. They're exploring everything that could go wrong yeah. when everything's going to go right. What's yeah. the matter with you? Like, and there's the, and sometimes you got to, if you know instinctively that this is something that'll work, it's a no-brainer, then you can just go do it. I've done it against my, my lawyer's wishes at that point. And that's either the entrepreneur in you or the hustler in you. Yeah, I'm like, you don't know everything. Yeah. You don't know. Like, I'm telling you some things I can tell you, this is this is gonna work. And when it works, he goes, yeah, you're right. You made the right call. And generally, if, it's your, if it's, you benefit the most from it anyway, mm -hmm. So, you, you know, he says, what, I can't be wrong? He's like, you was right. Yeah. And I was like, okay, it's cool. Out of those three though, hustler, entrepreneur, or businessman, which one do you think you are most of today? Well, I'm still an entrepreneur. Entrepreneur. Yeah. All right. The, the hustler part. Which is true. I mean, you've got your, your, your producer, you've got your, you, you've got your, your spirit brands, you, you've got yeah. Branson Cognac, you've got your champagne, which is amazing, by the way. You just got World Series, right? You, yeah. There's, 
Yeah. Look, look, every time you see me, it's something different, right? Yeah. But it's, I'm always there. You know what I mean? Like, the, the, you got other guys that have been around for a long time, especially in a culture like with, with hip hop music is connected to youth culture. They have very low attention span, mm -hmm. right? So, it's hot, it's hot, it's out with the old and with the new. The guys that stick around have a significance. They, yeah. they have been able to transition and maneuver themselves through everything that goes on. By myself, in crowds by myself. Yeah. <laughs> like, they're not necessarily thinking the same thing I'm thinking when we're doing, what we're doing as a group. And um, I think when you don't necessarily train yourself, like, you know, I people say, oh, I'm an independent thinker, I'm this, like, when it's already in you to just have yeah. your opinion on which way, direction you should go, I think, um, I'm not sure if you can can train someone into uh, that mentality. Right. I people, uh, there's points where they, they promote things that's not necessarily worth mm -hmm. right? But in it being public perception or public, the public's aware of it in that way, it adds to your aura, right? Absolutely. So it's like when they financially say, oh, you're a billionaire, this person's a billionaire. Like, I've been a billionaire since 2007. Yeah, I'm not far from where I came from. Yeah. That I've been a billionaire. It's crazy. Financially, because it's everybody around me is being paid. Mm -hmm. There you go. The resources that I compensate for to be there. And I, don't, I really don't see things that I want that I, I can't go get it. What's up that building right there? That building right there? I can't just go get it. Not yet. Maybe you five minutes. You, you still like, got plenty of time. Right? Like, yeah. that's the shit. And you go, but everything else, you can get it, you can have it. I can have it if I want it Thanks, at awesome. that point. So, I, don't, I just don't, I don't want that building. Like, I don't know I have that urge to have that building. Like, that, it's just who I am. But this is why I'm saying I've, I've felt like that the whole time. So, when people tell me, you got givers and takers, right? Yeah. So, when you interact with people, they'll come and, and you'll feel them looking at you like, I'm excited because he's, he's such and such. They introduced you and they told you he's from the Enthusiast Report and he's mm. financially, he's this guy. And they go, um, I want to meet him because, you know, like, so I can talk to him and maybe this will happen for me or, or, or maybe he'll finance my idea. Yeah. Right? And those people uh, take this because you see them wanting something. They just want something from you. Rather than and then you have the guy that is. I hear you talking about the idea and says, yeah, it's, it's a good idea. That's a good idea. You know? Let's do it. Man. I'll finance it if you want to do it. Yeah. I agree with you. It's a good one because financing it means nothing to him. Like, yeah. It's multiple other things going on. He just hears a great idea. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times, when we talked about the golf course earlier, a lot of times that's what's happening on yeah. the golf course. It's a point where the skill that's acquired over time by the person that actually it's timing. plays and plays. Yeah, the skill is gonna matter. Yeah. Not not how many weights you picked up or anything else. And they're gonna kick your ass out there because they've been out there for years doing it. And working on it. And working on yeah. it. Yeah. Like any other crap. But yeah, it's, it's you know it's, it's the more you give, I believe, the more you get. Yeah. It really is. And a lot of people do not understand it. That's why takers are always like, why am I broke? It's because all you do is take. Huh? You know. I, I think it's an unwritten law to not need anything. 100%. Right, to appear to not need anything. That would be one of the, the laws of powers that they didn't put in the book. As far as Robert Greene is concerned. We, we yeah. did the 50th law together, but I think he's amazing, like an amazing writer. And the uh, significance in him is how he can run parallels through things that are going on today with historical figures. Mm -hmm. right, he said, amazing history of love. Right? Yes. And the, the, the 50th floor is me, me being you know, fearless, like, because I've already been in, under the worst circumstances. Yes, yes, yes. These, all, all these new situations are so much minor to me, right? When I get into, uh, when I say that appearing not to need anything is uh, probably the, the only law unwritten. Yeah. 
This would allow Bernie Madoff to have a $50 billion Ponzi scheme. I don't need you, I value you. My portfolio's full. I don't need you, I value you. Yeah. So you can leave after he told you his portfolio's full and talk to your friend, your other wealthy friends, say, yeah, I got a few dollars for the over here. What up? And he says, damn, he just turned me down. Okay, I know I asked to give you five, but let me give you 10 billion. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they, so give, they ended up giving him more.